Uh, good morning, I'm Francisco Cobo. I'm currently the president of the European Demolition Association, the EDA. Uh, for me, it's a honor and a pleasure to be president of the EDA because, as I said, I'm uh, in this association from four years ago. So uh, I've been, um, I may say, all the positions in the EDA. So at this time, I have the honor to to, to serve to my colleagues, to, to the people involved in the demolition activity and to represent the European Demolition Association all over the world. So that's a, that's a very, very nice, uh, very nice uh, time I have ahead, so I'll try to do my best. I started in the demolition sector four years ago because of a friendship of the owner of the one who was at that time the biggest demolition company in Spain. I started working with them. The demolition sector is something that is really very interesting. Usually people think that demolition is just working buildings. It's not, it's not true. Uh, the demolition sector is a very technical activity because it requires to know, have a big knowledge about what the building is, what the building was, uh, what is inside, what can be found, what kind of dangerous materials can be inside of the building. So it's a very technical activity. The Malaysian sector is, uh, from the beginning, is always improving the activity because there's always a new, new challenge to face. Uh, as uh, fast the, the developing of the technology and the knowledge of uh, materials uh, goes further, then we learn that there's more uh, challenges we have to face. So it means there's a lot of material that has to be keep in mind. There's a lot of knowledge that has to be keep in mind when treating the structure, when treating the um, material we take from the buildings and demolish. So it means uh, always we are in, uh, in a new knowledge. It's very, very important to keep in mind that every day we have to learn and we have to keep this learning useful for our industry. The EDA is something like a uh, like school after the school. I mean, when people and technicians finish their study in the university, the only way to learn they have, of course, is the everyday working. But, but the EDA and the National Association is the meeting point of the, uh, of the industries, of the professional, of the activity. When you can meet your colleagues, you can share your experience, you can learn and you can teach also, not only learn but teach also, uh, with your colleagues uh, what you are doing. And when you can find also the uh, manufacturers of the equipment you, are, uh, you will need to use, that means that you have the access to know the, the, the answer to the industry, but at the same time, you can tell them what you need. So they can, they can think what's, the, what's the, 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 the help they can give you for the future. So that's always, always interesting. So it's a, it's a real university of the prof for the profession and for the activity. It's very, very interesting. The goals of the EDA, of course, is, uh, is to keep this uh, relationship with the between the different companies in, in the sector in different, in different countries because many times that helps to have a cooperation, operator, operational cooperation. Several companies used to work together in the international projects. Also to improve, to continuously improve the uh, activity uh, in Europe and in uh, national activities, of course. EDA is always uh, working to improve the relationship between the, the professionals and the companies. But for the 19, for 2019, we have a very special trip. We are going to make a, a study trip to Japan. We did one uh, three years ago in 1988. And so this is the second time we are going to travel to Japan to see from our colleagues there how they are uh, giving answer to the problems that the activity is uh, giving them in the, uh, every day. So that will be very interesting, I'm sure.